So in this lecture, we're going to talk about an introduction to potentiometry, um, which you will find uh, in your analytical textbook in chapter 15. Um, so potentiometry, there are some uh, new terms that we need to first discuss before we begin talking about some specific examples and the types of uh, reference electrodes that we'll use. Um, so potentiometry, generally speaking, uh, is the use of electrodes uh, to measure potential. Of course, here we measure potential in terms of voltage. And that measured potential is going to provide some sort of information uh, that usually means either the identity um, or the concentration of an unknown species. So those unknown species that we'll be measuring are known as electroactive species. And these are atoms or molecules um, that can either be oxidized or be reduced during reaction at an electrode. So they can transfer electrons uh, to another species or they can accept electrons from that species. So there are two electrodes or two half cells uh, in any potentiometry experiment. So the indicator electrode, um, this is commonly uh, metal such as platinum. Um, and this metal electrode is going to be inserted into the indicator solution. You should think of the indicator as being uh, sort of the unknown solution. And that indicator is going to serve to transfer electrons to or from the analyte that is being described. So the other half of the story uh, is the reference electrode. This is the other half cell that's connected to the indicator electrode uh, via a wire. And that wire, of course, is going to conduct electrons to and from the indicator and in reference. And this reference electrode uh, needs to have a fixed composition with fixed concentrations. And when it has a fixed concent uh, concentration set or a fixed composition, that means it's going to have a fixed potential or it's going to serve as a standard. And then we can measure the variable potential of the indicator with respect to the standard and tell something about the chemical information in the indicator solution, whether that would be concentration or identity of the indicator. So finally, once you uh, create this voltaic cell with two half cells, indicator and reference, uh, there will be a, a cell voltage uh, or a potential between the two. And the difference between the variable potential of the indicator or the unknown solution and the constant potential of the reference or the standard, that's going to tell us something about the concentration and the identity of what's in the indicator solution. And of course, that cell voltage will generally be read in volts or millivolts, et cetera. So once again, this is simply an uh, introduction to the vocabulary associated with potentiometry. And we will see uh, the usefulness of potentiometry in several example problems that we do in subsequent videos as we discuss the various reference electrodes that are common. So for more practice with potentiometry, uh, you can visit uh, unit four of my electrochemistry portion, the analytical course guide, and that is at chemguides.com.